Hey everybody, Joy Bowen here, and I wanted to come to you live today and tell you my number one, number one tip for staying on track when it comes to healthy eating and exercise. And I'm coming at you, no makeup today. Isn't that awesome? You know you've totally arrived in life when you are comfortable in your own skin and can wear yoga pants every day, people. Okay, so here's the deal. Um, number one tip, this is the thing that sabotages, especially women, the most out of anything. Are you ready for it? Stay off the scale. Oh my gosh, people. I am so serious about this one. Like when you weigh yourself every single day, you are making, hi Mary Jane, you are making your, um, your identity about a number. You're making like your journey about a number. And it's one thing to measure progress, but that same um, habit of, of weighing yourself every day can also stop you in your tracks because you get so hung up on the number. It's happened to me, like I've gotten on a scale before and it's a little bit higher than I think it should be and so I will just mentally cave for the day and want to curl up on the couch with like tortilla chips and salsa and tacos and you know the whole thing and my wine and so um you know sometimes that scale can really mess with our head especially if we've been on this journey for so long because here's the reality at some point you are gonna if you're training if you're not just focusing on nutrition but if you're working out as well you're gonna be building muscle and muscle takes up less space in our bodies than fat, but it weighs more, so it messes with our brain. But not many of us are like bothering to like measure ourselves every single day, but we jump on a scale because that's super fast, and then it totally messes with our head. So instead of focusing on the number on the scale, because you are far more than a number, don't let that become you know, the thing that you focus on. Instead, track things like, how do you feel? How much energy do you have? How are your clothes fitting? Um, how are your inches? Are you measuring your inches every week? Um, how are you sleeping at night? How's your stress level? Um, how's your digestion? <laughs> That's something we don't really think a lot about um, how's your mood are you irritable cranky sluggish do you have brain fog um, do you have crazy cravings that are sabotaging you like all of those things that I just mentioned are directly related to the types of foods that we take into our body so it's so much more than just about a number on the scale it is about your complete whole well-being and you know the truth of the matter is I haven't weighed myself in months now my husband Andrew, he gets on that dang scale every day, every single day, sometimes twice a day. It drives me crazy. I haven't been on the scale in months, in months, because I have gotten to the point where like I, I mean if I feel, I'll probably get on it once a month maybe, but like honestly I haven't been on the scale since maybe December. And it is almost March right now. So that's my encouragement to you that this is about being a happy, healthy person, taking care of you and feeling great and confident. And it's not about that stinking number on a scale, all right? It is about taking next steps to becoming that future you. You know what sometimes I do? Sometimes I have my new challengers go out and purchase a little compact mirror and I have them set it on their counter, their vanity counter, or I have them take it with them in their purse or just hold on to it as like a visual reminder that there is a future them that they are going to meet in like 30, 60, 90 days from now, right? And like Here's the thing that I always promise my challengers, like if you could actually meet the future you in 30, 60, 90 days from now, if, you, if I could show you a reflection of that person that you are in the process of becoming, you would be so inspired and so blown away and so excited about that, that you wouldn't let anything, and especially not the scale, 
get in the way of becoming that person. So if you need a physical reminder that that tells you like I am in the process of becoming, it's not about a number, it's about how I feel. It is about like the whole mind, body, and soul. Don't let that scale sabotage your brain, all right? That's my number one tip, and I hope it blesses you today. So anyway, love you guys, and I will talk to you later. Peace.